while back I said the wrong number but look at here 252 subscribers 900 or 99,445 views and this is April 4th see I gained two subscribers today I've gained quite a few the last couple of days but yeah I know earlier before I think I said we were close to this but that was about 8,000 about 8,000 views ago I was off so I got maybe by the end of the weekend I'll have a hundred thousand views that's a lot of people I've been in a lot of places <laughs> I can't hide my face no more <laughs> but all right well the mother-in-law last we know her stomach flap has quit working and uh, letting acid up in her throat and that's what's giving her throat trouble so she's going to be in the hospital for a while yeah so we haven't heard any more news so I guess good news is no news is good news so but uh, as soon as I know more I'll let you guys know I'm just going to videotape that so I don't say it wrong, but 252 subscribers and 99,445 views. So, thanks everybody. Well, we'll see what happens later Saturday morning. Excuse me, some of the didn't set with me tonight. Uh, and maybe we'll start that engine build, so... All right. Hey, hello, everybody. Welcome to the weekend. I know some of you've already are enjoying your weekend, but some of us are just running behind. Oh. Yep. Well, I think we're ready to go. I did find. Those missing valve covers and that. And I got something to show you here. I've got a bunch of them. And I found the good dipstick tubes because I broke the one. But check this out, guys. Come on. Okay. Check this out. See what that says? Chevrolet. I've got one. Two, three, four, and yeah, that poor old race cover. Four, five, six, seven. Seven of those Chevrolet uh, valve covers. You don't see those every day. And since those are uh, non baffled, guess what? You can sandblast those and clean them up and reuse them. Uh, here's my 377 oil pan, which I see will not work in the Camaro because she drops, that hits on the frame. This one here is for a passenger side dipstick. This one here is one I needed, but it's off a race car where they had an oil Simpson unit in it. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet. For the oil pan wise but uh yeah all right well i've been asking you guys on how you want to do this motor some of you say one long video some of you say break it up uh i guess i'll see how today goes because i think what i want to do is start working on the heads get those reassembled then I gotta find something to put down on the floor because I gotta run the. I'm gonna take some solvent that's clean and new and brush out all the oil galleys, all the oil passages, everything. And uh, wipe this thing down real good. Then blow it out, and then that should be ready to go. So, and since this is just gonna be basically put back together as a stock motor. Not camming or anything right now because, well, 
don't have the money and I'd rather have the car running so and these little 350s well since this won't have the soft cam in it will run good so I guess I need to get set up to work on the heads and we'll get the heads assembled today and then if we can we'll clean the block once that's all cleaned and scrubbed down and wiped down and ready to go then we'll get the cam bearings in that's plug I got to put back in that I change over from the push in to the screw in and uh, what else what else well we'll just go but yeah I got those uh, well seven Oh, a three and a half pair of uh, those Chevrolet small block valve covers. Used to use those on the passenger side of the race car because uh, otherwise you get oil blowing out the passenger side when you're making your turns. So, yeah, so I haven't found an oil pan. And I probably won't. I'm probably going to end up having to either go get one or, uh, yeah, I don't know. So. Well, I guess we'll get set up. I'll blow the heads off because there's a little dust and that on them. Blow them off. Then we'll start oiling and putting the valves back in and put the put her back together like she was. So, and uh, let's see, pistons and rods are right here. An oil pump. I'm even going to take this oil pump apart. For the simple fact because everything's already set. It's been cleaned. I'll open it up and it won't be the first time I've redone an oil pump. Open her up, wash it out, make sure there's no grooves, scratches in it. I'll we'll put it right back in this motor. I know, yeah, some of you guys are going, oh, you're crazy. Won't be the first time I've done it, guys. Won't be the first. I mean, uh, we're just putting it together as a stock 350 to get the Camaro rolling so I guess this will be the beginning of our 350 Chevy build so I guess I'll get my little table over there dug out and uh, find something to cover it and we'll start assembling heads and see if we can get to the block today Oh, and uh, just another note, uh, my mother-in-law is in the hospital, and I guess what's going on is uh, my wife wants to go, but she doesn't want to go, but she wants to go. I said, okay, fine, we'll stay. I, this is the plan. I said, we'll stay home today, and we'll see if they figure anything out. If not, we'll go up and visit her tomorrow, because she's in another state. She's in South Dakota right now. So... Uh, but I guess her flap in her stomach has stopped working or broken and it's letting all her stomach acid come out and that's what's been screwing with her throat. It's been basically eating her throat. So, and here a little while ago they just started the second IV. This poor gal hasn't ate it in two weeks. Hasn't been able to take her medicine because she can't swallow anything. Can't do, uh, she can't take her meds. She can't do anything. She's diabetic and her numbers have been down in the 60s. Which, yeah, that's not good. So, um, so I guess the wife agreed, yep, yeah, we'll just stay here today. And I think Sunday we'll just make a day of it and take off, go see her. And I said, maybe by then we'll know more and that, and you can decide what you're going to do or whatever. So, I guess, uh, with that, that's enough of that. I'm going to try keeping these engine builds just engine stuff and nothing else. So here we go, guys. Let's build us a 350. Well, okay. I got the keepers. He didn't uh, clean them for me, so I got to get a little uh, carb cleaner in there. And it was clear, so got those soaking, but while they're soaking and cleaning, we're going to uh, go ahead and start uh, 
all that stuff. for the valves, for the exhaust. with you guys instead of doing both heads but right now okay the keepers are soaking and it goes okay exhaust intake intake but I can't forget those little caps These are just stock springs. I'm going with a stock cam. So, okay. Now it goes exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust, exhaust, intake, intake, exhaust. Alright. So, now I'm going to Oh, let's see what. Yeah. Yeah, I sit down. I'm feeling a little windy today. I just. Not sure. Anyway. I mean, uh, I ain't even doing the valve job to it. I just cleaned everything up. I mean, it's not pitted, it's not tore up. So. Nice here. 
I even spin the valve around a few times to make sure that oil gets worked in there good because the last thing you want to do is chew up your guides now. I'm just putting a little squirt in there, get it in there, and spin the valve around as I push it through. And I smoke a little when I start it. On well, my other set of heads, I took down to have checked out. They are uh, cracked, but they are cracked in a spot that can uh, the guy can be or the seat can be cut out and uh, it can be saved. So. I'll have to talk to him more about that when I get ready to do those. And I know I say I'm going to keep this about motors, but uh, I guess if uh, you guys are really interested in uh, maybe some hats and stickers or t-shirts or something, let me know and I'll look into it and see if we can. I don't know what kind of design or what I would put on. I mean, it's never really I've thought about it because I figured nobody would really. Well, I guess I shouldn't think that way anymore. I got 252 people watching me right now, so. And then I even bought a compression tester so we can check the compression after we're done building this thing. Make sure all, everything is sealing and. If I remember the oil that I got in the thing there, that's uh, Meg One Full Synthetic. So, okay. Got an itch on my hand. Let's check out, see how these guys are doing. Little mini parts tumbler. Oh, that looks a lot better. Now they're coming. Yep, they're clean now. It's amazing how much. Uh, it down there. Look out! Look how dirty that was. So, um, man, everybody's going now. How are you going to get those out of there? I guess. I know how I'm going to do it. Just drop it into this old valve cover, like it's something in the back works like it's not. Use the bottle to dump it out. So, we'll take it. Oh yeah, those are nice and clean. And make sure I throw the bottle away so I don't ever drink out of it. Yeah. Now they're usable. I'll show you here. It's hard to believe that little ridge right there and pressure hold these together. So, get our seals here. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, now they oiled them, now they want to slide. Let's see. We'll stand it up here. And uh, get the 
the seals on. I had thought about putting posi seals on, but you know, this is kind of a low budget motor. And uh, if I have a problem with it, I can put them on later. But as for now, I'm just going to put this back to the way it was when it came out of the factory. I mean, the guides are not shot. Valves aren't shot. I mean, got real lucky for not, for the guy not knowing how long this thing sat outside. Because he said the last he knew the spark plugs were still in the motor. Then you guys enjoy this and this build goes over good then we're going to do a performance motor like I said someday when I get the money okay yep that's ready okay so we got our seals on our guides oiled valves in we got these laying here ready to go okay Ugh. All right, well, let's see. Valve spray compressor, check. Let's see if I got this still set good. And we'll see how here, but sometime another little trick to do is have some grease to put in there to hold the, at least one of those little retainers on. So otherwise, sometimes they like uh, to fall off. So. And I'll tell you guys, it's been a while since I've done this. And I can't remember. I figured out how to lay this head one way to make it work so much better than what I'm doing now. Hmm. I don't think I have that pressed far enough. So, give me a couple more cranks. Come on. Wow. How did I do that? How did I? Whoa, don't be doing that. I might be having to go find grease. Nope, missed. Okay. Maybe not. Let's see how that one. Yep, that's the way it's supposed to be. So one down and fifteen to go. tell this is going to take a little time so I may not bore you guys with this whole well that's there it's kind of coming back that one went a little faster It's amazing when you don't do this all day like you used to on what you uh, forget. Exhaust rotator, yep, exhaust rotator. Oh, 
Oh, there's four down. And this is all being done in real time, guys. A friend of mine called me last night and he knows a guy that's going to pay somebody for eight hours to change a cam in a race car in a small block Chevy and he's going to pay him for eight hours labor. I'm like, it don't take eight hours to take and change a camshaft. Ooh, the back. So, so yeah, I'm like, wow, well, why couldn't I find somebody like that? Yeah, I made my daughter go down and get these little keepers and oh and I called the guy, he goes, Oh yeah, I still got your oil filter adapter too. Really? I'll send it with him. Uh oops. Oops. Something don't look right here. Alright, I gotta look here, son. Looks like my keepers are not sitting in the same spots that they're supposed to. So, all right. Well, that's the. I'll check that. See what's going on. It's been a while since I took these apart. So, okay. I don't know what I was worried about. Are they they were where they're supposed to be. It's just ones that said in the rotators look like they sit deeper, but uh, I don't know why they do and don't. But. Another thing I do is take the soft face hammer and well you know the everything's seated. So there is one head down and one more to go. Now I gotta find a place to set this guy. Keep him clean. So, yeah, there we go. That's one head assembly. I won't bore you with the second one. I mean, uh, you just watched the head go together, so, okay. Well, how many caught what I did wrong there? Because <laughs> I'll have to dis disassemble that other, well, not completely disassemble, but I knew I was, uh, should have, Remember my old philosophy, when something fights you, take it apart. See what I've done when I put the seals on too early. So I'm pulling them back off and I'm like, what the heck, why is this not working? And duh! Sorry guys, I mean, a very wrecky mistake, but like I said, it's been years since I've done this. Lost intake intake is lost. Okay, I'm back on track. So I guess uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Hey, we're only human, and uh, sometimes it takes an old dumb moment to remind you what you got to do. So I guess better figured it out now instead of later. Anyway, I'll fix that mistake and uh, we'll be moving on.